What's up guys? Look, before we get into this video, I don't know what the universe is trying to tell me today, but every loud vehicle is passing by my street today. I got airplanes, helicopters, trash trucks, and everything else going by. So if you hear anything in the background, I'm not in a war zone. It's just my neighborhood is just rowdy today and we just gonna have to deal with it. Let's do it. This is the Comica CVM-VM102. <laughs> All right, I don't know where to get their mic names from, but that is the nomenclature for it. And we're gonna try it out today, man. So this is a shotgun mic. This is like a mini uh, shotgun mic that uses phantom power from your camera or whatever the recording device you're using. I figured I'd showcase this one because you can compare it to the more expensive Rode Video Micro. I'm not gonna do a comparison right now, but if you're looking for a more budget-friendly shotgun microphone in this form factor and this size, this might be the way to go. So let's just check it out. Let's see, we got some paperwork that's falling out. Let's see what this paperwork says. Standard Comica stuff. Now I've used my fair share of Comica products and I'll be honest with you, uh, I don't, no, none of them have let me down. So you get a dead, oh, okay, dead cat's actually alive and it's trying to run away. So you get a dead cat with it and it's got styrofoam in there. A lot of times they don't actually put styrofoam in the dead cat, but this is actually a quality dead cat. You would think that something like this wouldn't matter as far as quality, but there are non-quality dead cats out there. This is a good one. Then you get, Okay, so this is where we get fancy. All right, what, what do we have here? So we have a, uh, let's look at this one first. So we have TRS, or I don't know which one this is. It's probably TRS right here, uh, connection with the two rings, and then you got the slip in the middle. So that's a TRRS, I think, <laughs> on both sides. So this would actually be used for a regular recording device or a DSLR or mirrorless camera. And then we have, what would be called a TRS to a TRRS, um, and that would be used for your mobile phone. Okay, so it has a little mobile phone right there. So that's how you know this side is to stick into your mobile phone, and this side goes into your uh, camera. Oh, hello, it says for smartphone right there, hello. And this one says nothing, because you just kind of know it's supposed to go into your camera. Oh wait, no, it says it right there. Okay, so for camera or camcorder. So instructions are simple. Now we got the start of the show. Let's put this away. Okay, so right off the top, you can see the phone cover right here. Let's just go ahead and pull it off so we can see what the mic looks like. It looks like a standard uh, mini shotgun mic. Definitely Comica quality, and that's a good thing because I think Comica makes really good products. Now I've got it off of the shock mount. So the shock mounts with these things, um, you gotta take them with a grain of salt. This is probably not gonna reduce all the vibration noise you'll hear from the camera handling or any you know banging and stuff like that, but it will reduce a lot. It's not gonna take it away all the way. Uh, possibly not as much as a Rode uh, mic would. I don't know, Rode just does something special with their Rycoat uh, shock mounts, but it's definitely gonna help out quite a bit. Um, but we'll, get, we'll see, we'll see how that test run. But this is definitely a quality mic, definitely quality build. And there's not much to it, man. It's just a shotgun mic with a cardioid pattern. Let me put this back on here. And you got your mount for your cold or hot shoe right there. So enough of the rambling. Let's get this thing set up so we can hear it. Okay, it's a pretty day, but it is hot out here. So I'm gonna make this short and sweet. Right now, you are listening to the raw audio from my Sony A6300, so don't get all excited. If you're hearing extra wind noise and stuff like that and the audio doesn't sound good, that's because it's coming from this raggedy camera and it's weak microphones. <laughs> so right now, I'm going to go ahead and plug in the uh, Comica mic. Let me see. Let me find that hole real quick. I uh, can't see over there. Can I do it? So right now you're hearing the raw uncut audio from the Comica shotgun mic with the dead cat on it. I put the dead cat on it because I'm outside and that's where you're supposed to use this dead cat. Oh God, I'm sweating. Anyways, hopefully the audio is good because these microphones are supposed to help your audio out. But I ain't no expert in this kind of stuff. I just like showcasing audio and video stuff for people to use because I know some of y'all are aspiring to become YouTubers and even doing personal vlogs and you're looking for some equipment that's not so expensive because yeah, this stuff can get pretty pricey. Comica is a good brand and uh, I use a lot of their products. So here we go. Hopefully this video was useful to you. And if it was, you go ahead and make sure you throw those emoji hands up in the comment section and I'll see y'all at the next one. All right, apparently you had a good time watching this video. Well, today's your lucky day because I didn't already made a whole bunch of them for you to go back and binge watch. But if you just want to check out the new stuff, you make sure you smash on that subscribe button and tap that little bell. That way you'll know when it's time to come back and open up some new stuff. 